Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Coco Osakwe of Chef and Sherpa Kitchen. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. Thank you in advance. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a native beans and rice jollof with your pressure cooker. It's easy and it's a very delicious dish. I promise you're not going to regret it if you ever get to try it. <laughs> so let me introduce you to the ingredients. The ingredients you need for this recipe is rice, dried fish, beans, seasoning cubes, onions and pepper, scotch bonnet, any kind of pepper. You need your seasonings like rosemary, chef and shepherd seasoning, salt, banga spice, you need your curry leaves and you need your palm oil so you can add any other kind of seasonings if you don't have the ones i've mentioned it's up to you the first thing you do is place a pot over our heat and then add some water to it add your washed beans to it and then cover your pot bring to a boil once it's boiled like after 10 minutes you check if your beans is halfway cooked if it's not you cover it back and then you let it cook again 10 minutes after and then check if your beans is half cooked you can take it off drain it and set aside after you've set your beans aside place your empty pressure cooker over a heat and add some palm oil to it add some onions and scotch bonnet add your seasonings and then give it a stir when you're giving it a stir, you add some crushed seasoning cubes to your mix. Add some dry fish and give it another stir. Stay so that everything is mixed together. At this point, you can add water or you can wait after adding your rice and beans, anyone. Add your washed rice to the pot. Add your parboiled beans as well. Add some crayfish and add water as well. If you have meat stock, you can add your meat stock, that's meat broth. If you don't have, you can use water. But remember, if you're using meat stock to cook this rice and beans, you reduce the spices that you're putting in it so that it won't be too testy. Test if it needs any salt, seasoning cubes, you can add salt, you can adjust anyhow to your test. Stay and combine properly. Cover your pressure cooker and allow to cook for about 15 minutes. Five minutes after it heats, you put off the pressure cooker and allow to cool before you open the pot. 15 minutes after your rice is cooked and is ready to be served. But just before you serve, you add some curry leaves to it. You can add scent leaves if you don't have curry leaves to this particular rice and beans jollof give it a good stir to combine properly so that everything comes together when you've combined it your rice is ready to be served and <laughs> you're good to go so all you need to do now is serve thank you so much for watching i hope that you try this recipe out soon i cannot wait for your feedback in the comment section please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you I promise to give you more, more and interesting recipes.